Hello viewer, God bless you once again. Thank you for your time. Thank you for this for coming online. Thank you for this special edition of All You Need Is The World. The word of God is for somebody. I know that is for you. As you listen, be blessed in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for my viewer all over the world, wherever they are watching from. The word says, is my word not like the armor that break every rock. As your word we go forth, O God, let your word make impact in the life of your people. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I'll be talking briefly on what I titled, All You Need Is The Word. All you need is the word. The solution to that challenge, to that problem, is in the word of God. I'll be taking my text from Psalm 119, verse 130. It says, The entrance of this word, thy word giveth light, and understanding unto the simple. In other words, when the word of God enters you, it brings understanding, it illuminates your understanding, it brings you life. And the word was made flesh, and it dwell among us. Every man needs a word. The right word of God, the right word, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. All you need is the word. You need the word of God to survive in this wicked world. It is the word of God that is the solution to that problem. As you study the word of God, may your life never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 11, it says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against you. The same Psalm 119 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. The word of God will direct you. The word of God will instruct you. The word of God will correct you. The God, word of God will guide you. you. Hear me? You cannot do without the word of God. You cannot do without the word of God. A man, a woman without the word of God is empty. May you not be empty in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to give a testimony about a brother. My father in the Lord, Pastor B.N.W. Roberts, was preaching sometimes ago in the church. You hear me? When a man of God is preaching the word of God, every word is not for you. There is a particular word that is meant for you. Every word that the man of God is saying is not for you. But there is a particular one that belongs to you. And my father in the Lord said, there is somebody in this place. This week, as you go, wherever you enter, God will enter with you. Unknowing to him, a brother was going to an interview at the embassy that same week. And the guy held on to that word. And the guy went to the embassy. When he wanted to enter them, he said, God, your servant said to me, wherever I enter, you will enter with me. As I enter this embassy, let me get this visa. And the guy entered there. Other people that were there before him, they denied them the visa. But this man got his own. Hear me, hear me. Where people have been denied, you shall be accepted. Where people have been rejected, you shall be accepted. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold on to the word of God. Let no day go by without you studying this word of God. Study the word of God. The word of God is power. The word of God is life. The word of God can he, the word of God heal the sick. The word of God brings the dead back to life. The only thing Jesus told Lazarus, he says, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says, he that was dead came back to life. You are coming back to life again. You are coming back to life again. You hear me? The same way, you know, today, most people pay more attention to their phone. And they neglected the word of God. They neglected the word of God. The word of God brings everything to pass. And the word was made flesh. And it dwelt among us. Hear me? Stop spending time, too much time with your phone. Spend time with God. Spend time with the Word of God. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. Learn to study the Word of God. And another thing is that you cannot get solution without the Word of God. Anytime you are praying without the scripture, without quoting the scripture, it's like you are shooting gun without bullets. You hear me? Never you pray without the word of God. Because such prayer will not go beyond the silly. Pray with the word of God. The only thing that is written is the word of God. You hear me? 
All you need to survive in life is the word of God. All you need to break forth in life is the word of God. All you need to make it in life is the word of God. I believe that I've been able to pass a word across to you. Study God's word. Take time to study God's word. Don't let a day go by without you studying this word. And your life will never remain the same. Let me pray for those who want to give their life to Christ wherever you are. Can you say this after me? Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I cannot help myself. Cleanse my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you for forgiving me. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Don't go back to that sin. That prayer looks so simple. That prayer looks so simple, but it's very powerful. Don't go back to your sin, and your life will never remain the same. Please look for a Bible-believing church where the Word of God is being preached undiluted. Go there. Let them groom you up in the Word of God. Join a department in the church, and God will take control of your life. Let me pray for my viewer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for as many that are watching this broadcast that they satisfy them. Meet them at the point of their need. Let there be a solution to their problem. Give them another testimony and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Stop running elder skelter. The solution to that challenge is in the word of God. Take time to study God's word. Take time to study God's word and you will see what God will do in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can call me for prayer. Send your prayer request. You can call for prayers, for counseling. God wants to meet you at the point of the need. My number is plus 234-80-283-55548. I repeat again, 080-283-55548. Five 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 four eight. Remember, the solution to that problem is in the Word of God. All you need is the Word of God. Till I come your way next time, remain blessed. Amen.